everyone, this is Katie with the Learning and Content team. If you are brand new to Triple Seat, welcome! We are glad to have you on board. In this video, I am going to navigate around the Triple Seat site and show where to find certain information needed to get started. When logging in, it is recommended to reset the password right away to something secure that can be remembered. To do so, I will head to my profile at the bottom left hand corner, type in a new password here, and click update at the bottom of the page to save my new password. Next, I will go back into the dashboard, which shows a high level overview of everything happening at the venue. The dashboard can be filtered by locations if I have access to multiple locations on my account. At the top, I have two customizable and interactive graphs, one for my incoming leads and one for event forecasting, which can both produce detailed reports when clicking on data points. There is also a customizable panel that I can add to my dashboard that enables me to find additional reports that can be filtered and customized. I will also see new leads incoming from my lead form that I can take multiple steps with. A lead is also known as an inquiry that has been submitted and is not an event yet. Once I click on one of these leads, I will only be able to view it on my leads page. There is a quick thumbnail of my calendar on the right that can take me to a specific day I select. Scrolling down, I will also see all of my upcoming events that can be filtered and ordered, including Triple Seat Direct events if I have Triple Seat Direct, as well as any tasks that have been assigned to me. I do also want to point out the blue question mark icons that can be seen throughout the site. These question marks contain current and updated information, so I can click or hover on each to learn more. Now that I've covered the dashboard, I want to go up to the toolbar at the top of the page, which will always show at the top of any screen in Triple Seat. Next to my profile, I can use the search bar which will allow me to type in information and will recognize events, bookings, contacts, accounts, or leads related to that name within my database. I can also search for deleted or lost events and recover those back to the calendar. Moving over to the right, there are the notifications and discussion center. The globe icon shows notifications on the site, which include important changes or actions. If a new contact has been created, a guest signs their contract, or a payment has been made to an event, I will see those notifications here. The Discussion Center allows me to view and sort through all of my discussion messages. Next is the Help Question button, which is a great resource. It not only includes our FAQ page and our recorded training videos and tests, but also allows access to Triple Seed's support team by submitting a help ticket or chatting online with our virtual assistant if I ever need help with a quick issue. The final two buttons will allow me to create a new lead, which is an inquiry, or an event. Some users might have a new booking button here as well. Bookings are a way to organize multiple events that are related, such as a multi-day conference or wedding weekend. We will talk more in depth about bookings in a later video. Next, I will talk about the navigation panel on the left-hand side of the screen. This feature will stay consistent throughout my work in Triple Seat, so I can quickly head into different areas of my site. If I want more of a screen to work with, I can always toggle my navigation panel to slim mode. Staying on the navigation panel, I will click on the calendar page. Here is where all of my events live in a calendar view. I have different options to display the calendar such as month, week, day, and timeline view. At any time, I can create an event right from the calendar. I will be able to toggle from month to month and also filter out the calendar to what I'm interested in seeing like event styles or statuses. For example, I may only want to see definite events or events I own. At any time and within any calendar view, I can click on an event and see more information, such as the contact, account, and RIM name. Under the calendar, I will find Discussions. 
This is another way I can access my discussion center to see all of the discussions I am included in, whether it is for a booking, lead, or event. Next, I will go down to leads. Here is where all my leads live, including the new ones that I see on my dashboard. I can filter by converted or not converted leads, date range, or further drill down the leads I am looking for using this filter button. I also have the option to search for a specific lead if I type in a keyword here. Next is the booking and events pages. Like the leads page, I can view all events or bookings at once. I can view events by a certain time frame, upcoming, or a date range, or filter events by clicking on this button. For example, I may want to check out events occurring in a certain location or room, or maybe view events that a certain user owns. I can search by name to find an event on this page, and I can see details listed in these columns such as guest count, who the contact is, and when and where the event is taking place. Below events, there are tasks. Tasks are a great way to keep me and my team organized. Tasks can be created automatically based on a trigger action, such as an event being created, or manually inputted in the system, such as adding a note to remind myself to follow up with the guest to discuss the arrival time. The drop-down here allows me to view tasks that are overdue, outstanding, completed, or deleted. I can search for specific tasks or filter my tasks page by user, priority, event type, or event style. Moving down the list, I will click here to see a list of all my contacts. My contacts are shared throughout my group in Triple Seat, and I can search for a specific contact or create a new one here. I want to talk about contacts and accounts. A contact is the guest I am working with, while the account is considered the business or organization they are linked to. Every event I enter into Triple Seat will require me to have a contact and an account listed. I may have an event with Joe Smith, a marketing manager at the Newport Group, who is looking to organize a holiday party for the company. In this case, Joe Smith would be my contact, while the Newport Group is the account. Not every event held will be with a business or a group, so for social events, the best practice would be to simply use the contact's name for both the contact and the account, or to use the account as a common name like social to better help with future reporting. Here is my accounts page. I can view the accounts listed, search, and even see the number of contacts linked to each account. Joe Smith may book the holiday party in the first year, but maybe the second year his assistant rebooks the company party. In this example, the Newport group would then list two contacts on this account page. If I click on an account, I can find even more information such as linked events, notes, tasks, or any revenue they've generated over time. Moving right along into reports. On this page, I will find my different subcategories for reporting such as events, bookings, accounts and contacts, and leads. I can run any pre-created reports or I can customize my own reports. All reports can be exported to Excel, saved, or shared with other users. We will learn more about the different types of reports in an upcoming video. At the bottom left of the navigation panel, I will find my settings. Based on my user role, I can adjust certain areas of my account, like updating my terms, adding a pick list, or setting up sales goals for my team. The bottom of the navigation panel is where I will be able to find the marketplace and partnerships buttons. In the marketplace, I can view and select any add-on subscriptions to my Triple Seat account, such as Triple Seat Direct or Triple Seat Insights Advanced Reporting. This marketplace is a self-service where I can easily manage all of my add-ons. Partnerships is where I can learn about all of our integrations and partnerships. Lastly, there is the Success Center where I can access valuable information about my own site as well as new feature releases, 
upcoming events, and resources like Triple Seat's Knowledge Base, blog, or YouTube page. The Success Center is updated frequently, so it's always a best practice to check in and see any new changes. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you navigate Triple Seat and familiarize yourself with your site. We look forward to supporting you along your Triple Seat journey. If you have any questions along the way, please reach out to the support team, support at tripleseat.com or by clicking the help question button at the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat. Thank you.